What is teaching? Is it the transmission of knowledge from one human to another? Is it gently guiding to discover and realize deepest potential? Or is it the preparation of the next generation for responsible citizenry? What about character, empathy, risk-taking, integrity? How do they fit into this? Is teaching knowing all the answers? Or is it exploring with the students? Why do teachers have to fit into a box? There is a certain power of being the adult in a classroom of little people. I'm responsible for their safety, for everything. There is this rush, this satisfaction at calming the chaos. Certainly there is a motivation to care. But what is teaching? It's more than just caring. The younger students, they're eager to please. Why does curiosity wait? This is so boring. Why do I have to do this? How can I inspire it as I was inspired? Love of learning. Curiosity. Creativity. Flexibility. Pursuit of excellence. But isn't there more? When I listen to my students' fears of dad or mom never coming home and understand why they're tired from not sleeping because of worry, I earn the chance to speak into their lives. I want to encourage their dreams. I want to encourage them to even have dreams. So why did these dreams die? Lack of encouragement or opportunity? A false belief that things should just come easily? Maybe hopes like branches die because they're bent in the wrong direction. I used to think that there was only one way to do things academically, the way I had learned. You're going to do it this way. My way. But that's not right. People create knowledge in a fascinating variety of ways. Visual, spatial. Interpersonal. Logical, mathematical. Linguistic intelligence. Musical intelligence. Discovering that others learn in more than one way is like putting on a pair of glasses you didn't even know that you needed. Leaves on distant trees suddenly became. Colors burst forth into life. How frustrating it is to be told to be like a duck when you're really a swan. Hmm. Has this been the dream killer? Might this transparency of action live out a message of inquisitiveness, persistence, and a love of learning? I commit myself to praise a student's effort and struggle as they pursue their dreams. I commit myself to be an example of caring for who they are and how differently each student may learn. It is the struggle that creates the depth of that aha moment. If years later my students remember me, I hope they recall a grade school teacher who was at times a little weird, a little loud, and passionate about curiosity. Even if they don't remember me, I hope my students live a bit more in the joy of discovery, the fun of learning, and the success that comes not only in conquering the mountain, but the climb itself. So what is teaching? I'm not sure I completely know, but I sure am curious. Let's go find out.